وعليكم السلام Abita is doing its job, and Al Azhar is doing its job. Everybody, body and society, they are doing the job. Everybody, we need more and more. The Christians have got a thousand different churches and denominations, and everybody is doing the job. The Muslims now, you want to pass the buck. The Tablighi Jamaat, you know the Tablighi Jamaat. Why don't they do this? Do that. Why don't you do that? You so and so, Abita, why don't you do that? This is a very easy way out for all of us. We are cowards by nature, all of us. We want to pass the buck, pass the responsibility to somebody else. I am not interested in this body, that body, that body. I am interested in you. 90% of my people, the Muslims of the world, are doing nothing. 90% are doing nothing. They are all armchair critics. I want you to get involved. Don't start finding, looking for excuses. Passing the bakr to Al Azhar, they have their faults, they have their shortcomings. Everybody seems to have some shortcomings. Me too, I have my shortcomings. But I want you to all get involved, and for that, get my books, these booklets of mine, to arm yourself against this Christian onslaught. Right throughout the world, they're stealing our children. They are boasting today that they have perverted more Pakistanis into Christianity since independence in the previous hundred years of British rule. They have perverted one million Bangladeshis, more than what they ever did in the previous hundred years, they have done it since independence. They have perverted 15 million Indonesians into Christianity, and by the turn of the century, they are promising that they'll make Indonesia a Christian nation. Every sign shows that they will succeed. Now, I want to arm my brothers how to defend yourself against this Christian onslaught. There are so many other shortcomings. I said, look, there are different people doing a different job. You might choose a role to help the community in some other field. You might be a black belt karate expert. So it's right. I want to teach everybody karate. It's right. With my blessings, go and teach everybody karate. Get the young men and teach them karate. Every Muslim, once a guy has got the hat, no other, nobody will ever touch you. He said, this guy may be a black belt karate expert. Everyone. This is your uniform. Everybody's got this humble topi. He said, hey, don't touch him. Don't touch him. Like the Japanese. You'll be terrified to touch a Japanese. Why? Because the reputation. Karate. Karate. Out of how many million Japanese, how many learn no karate? A handful. Do you know that? But the reputation, the Japanese, if you just, eh, you want to fight him, eh, and you sure in your pants. <laughs> you know that? Reputation. What is your reputation? What is our reputation? We are like punching bags. Everybody is attracted to come along and practice on you. Huh? The shit on your head. That's our reputation. I said, look, you, my brother, and everybody else, I want you. What are you prepared to do? Forget Al-Azhar, forget the Rabita, and forget IPC. What are you prepared to do for Islam in this field? That's all. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> 